Hey everybody, my name's Commander Eagle 131, and I'd like to show off my Nova Galactic Heavy Outpost Platform, or what I like to call HOP. So this is definitely one of my wackier builds. Um, the Hopper, as I also sometimes call it, it's leaning more towards a roleplay Mac Crew expedition ship. So the exterior design and hab selections reflect that. I like to think of the ship to be a multi-purpose, heavy-duty vessel that can be left landed on a planet and sustain expedition crew for incredibly long periods of time. Exterior design-wise, I was inspired by the uh, Hope Tech trucks, and I kind of wanted to build a more industrial looking rig while still maintaining that Nova Galactic sort of NASA punk look, and um, I don't know how else to describe it, but I also wanted to maintain that charm of kind of exploring the unknown. So in short, I tried to kind of imagine what a Hope Tech and Nova Galactic partnership might look like, and this is the result. Um, see what I did there? partner ship anybody all right let's move on the hopper's basic design is a square and i tried suggesting that maybe the ship is simply a modular platform that can quickly and cheaply reconfigure its hab layout at a star yard for whatever exploration mission that it needs to support i took great liberty with using structural parts to decorate the exterior so there was very little room left in the build budget for armaments. I hit the build budget pretty quickly once I started decorating the exterior. So this ship is definitely not a fighter whatsoever. Interior design wise I wanted to have set up that also suggests that it can support exploration teams in the field for immense amounts of time away from civilization. Um, so the ship is divided into quadrants on two main floors bisected by a central hallway that connects all of it together. Each quadrant kind of have their own areas of interest and they'd ideally be staffed by relevant individuals. With this ship being a roleplay vessel, the hab selection and layout is very important to the overall design, so I will be giving an interior tour towards the end of the video. So if you're not interested in heading off into the builder, then go ahead and skip to that segment now. Before we head off into the builder, a couple quick disclaimers. This will not be a ship builder tool tutorial, this will be a ship build tutorial. I will be showing you how to build this specific ship and assuming that you're already comfortable with the ship builder. The hopper has a few end game ship modules, so you'll need rank 4 ship designs and piloting, and to be level 60 or above to build to exacting specifications. You'll be able to build the bulk of this ship without all that, but your mileage may vary based on level and skill ranks. Almost ready to start building, but before we do that, we need to go pick up some Star Yard specific modules. First, we're going to head to Hope Tech and the Valo system. We're going to pick up one Overseer 400 bridge. Next, at the Noble Galactic Vendor at New Homestead, we're going to need one 2x2 living quarters, one 2x3 mess hall, one 2x2 two two battle stations, one 2x2 two two cargo hull, 10 Nova cross passages, and 4 NG-20 landing gear. Next, at the Crimson Fleet Vendor in the Crix system, we're going to need two conduction grids and one comm spike. A quick note about those last two modules, they're optional as they're locked behind a Crimson Fleet faction questline. I included these modules to allow you to explore that one specific planet after the fleet missions. Alright, let's head into the Builder. Okay, so here we are in the Builder. I've got everything exploded out. Um, right here, in this big square, these are the main habs. Uh, if you remember earlier how I mentioned that uh, everything's kind of divided into quadrants with the central walkway um, that bisects it all, this is our main layout right here. This is exactly that. So you can see a nice blown up representation of that. Right here, this is our pile of um, Nova Galactic 20 landing gear. These, uh, This right here, this is what I like to call the big pile of stuff. Here's our um, sort of main modules. This is our giant pile of windows. There's tons of windows on here. I hit the build limit. If I didn't hit the build limit, there would have been even more windows. <laughs> um, right here, this is our really small pile of hard points. 
And then in the back here, um, this is kind of all of our um, surrounding items, if that makes any sense. This is our uh, little escape shuttle, little hopper shuttle. Um, here's our rear spine that I always like to throw something like this on um, all of my Nova Galactic style ships. Um, and then right here is the Hope Techie looking crane thing that I made that goes on top of the uh, cargo hull. And that is the overview of all the little parts. So let's get started with assembling the Habs first. To start with the Habs placement, we'll, we'll start by um, assembling our little central hallway area that leads us from the exit points to the bridge. So tab on over to your landing bays tab, and we'll start by placing this ship bed 200 down in the builder. Okay. Next, tap over to your Habs. We're going to be using any uh, Nova Galactic 1x1. Just use whichever one you like the most. I prefer the companion ways. And behind that is going to go a Nova Galactic 2x1 computer core. Okay. And take five Nova Galactic 1x1s. Stack them on top of each other. The bottom one gets attached to the computer core like that. And this is going to form our central ladder wheel that leads us up to the bridge and down to the docking collar. I won't go into detail why I build ships this way. Uh, I made a quick clip on my theories as to ladder placement. This has to do with ladder placement. So if you're interested in hearing about that, uh, I'll link that little um, short clip in the uh, cards here. So go ahead and tab over to your cockpits. Grab your Overseer 400 bridge that's going to go on top of the stack. Then tap on over to your dockers, find this 100 DP slim docker, flip it upside down, and that's going to go on the bottom of the ladder well stack. Okay. And there we have it. There's our pathway from the exit points to the bridge. Let's move on to assembling the rest of the main area. Okay, so we'll start um, by placing the habs on the bottom floor, and then we'll move our way up to the top floor. So coming around to uh, the port side, um, we're going to put a Nova Galactic all-in-one berth A, and that gets placed like that. Next to the all-in-one berth A goes a um, captain's quarters from Nova Galactic. I guess I don't need to say Nova Galactic. Uh, all Habs here are going to be Nova Galactic, so I guess I'll just uh, skip that <laughs> from here on out. So this little section here, this is what I like to call the uh, captain's suite. The captain or commanding officer, or commander, or whatever you want to call them, um, they get their own nice little suite here, right up at the front of the ship. Okay, so let's go on over to the starboard side. Um, we're going to be using a workshop and an armory right next to the workshop. And this is what I like to think of as um, a two-in-one, the armory and fabrication wing, mostly conveniently placed near the front. I always place the armory in the uh, workshop as close to the uh, exit point as I can in all my ships. Okay, so let's move to the to the back side, the stern area. Um, we're going to put another all-in-one berth A attached to the first floor in the ladder well here. Next to that goes a Nova Galactic Science Lab. And this forms what I call the research wing. Okay. Let's go on over to the other side. We're going to be placing two infirmaries side by side attached to the first floor on the rear ladder row. And this makes up the sick bay medical area. And that's it for the first floor. So let's move on up to the second floor. So take three one by ones and uh, stick them on top of this one by one in the in the four section here. Uh, yeah, so there's two ladder wells here, as you can see now, so we can access everything's kind of isolated from each other. All right, so let's move back over to the uh, port side then. Grab your uh, two by three mess hall, and this section's pretty self-explanatory. That's the uh, the crew mess area. Going over to the starboard section. Um, Take a, a two, your 2x2 two two living quarters, goes like that, and then the 2x1 living quarters. This is something I really like to do in a lot of my builds, placing either a 
all in one birthday or living quarters on the side of a uh, two by two living quarters because then that little attachment on the side makes it feel like it's kind of an extension of the uh, larger living quarter. Okay, so let's move on to the uh, back side again. Grab a, a Nova cross passage, and that's going to get attached to the second floor in the uh, rear ladder well. And then a uh, cargo hall 2x2 two two gets fixed to that. On the other side, same deal. Nova cross passage on the second floor. Okay. And then uh, the 2x2 um, two two battle stations gets attached to that. And there we have it. Congratulations, you've got the entire main habs layout assembled. So this is what it's going to kind of look like. So let's go ahead and move on to the um, main modules over here. Okay, so tap on over to your uh, grab drives. We're going to be using this uh, NG340 grab drive. Okay. Next, tap on over to your uh, shield generator. We're going to be using this SG-1800 shield generator. This is the best one that you can buy with 1600 armor. Or, yeah, armor. 1600 shield health. Um, as I said before, we only have two guns on here because it's all the build limit afforded me. Um, so, she might not be able to dish out much of a punch, but at least you'll be able to uh, tank a little bit of damage if you get attacked. Okay, so go ahead and tab on over to your uh, reactors. Um, so personally, I'm using this SF40 reactor. This is the max level, so this is the level 60 and above reactor. You don't need to use this. I'm just an excessive individual, I guess. Um, since we don't have that many guns on here, you just don't need this much power. So if you don't want to pay this much, or if you're not level 60 yet, you do not have to use this reactor. You can use a, a, a much smaller C-class reactor. And especially if you have crewmates on here who uh, help buff your, your reactor output a little bit, or give you extra pips or whatever, um, you just don't need this much power. Okay, I'm still going to use it, so there it is. You can you can yell at me for it in the comments section if you'd like. <laughs> So that completes our main module section right here. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the uh, landing gear and the big pile of stuff. Okay, so let's get started with our landing gear. Let's get this out of the way. Um, so grab four of those um, Nova Galactic 20 landing gear that we picked up from New Homestead. Um, switch it to the wide variant. You don't have to switch it to the wide variant, but um, you know, I, this is the way I kind of like the, it looks like there's four huge feet, um, you know, supporting up this massive platform when it's landed on a planet. So I thought that the uh, wides made more sense than the uh, other ones. So here we are. This is the wide variant. Um, we're just going to place one in each corner. So you see how there's this shelf under here. Uh, this goes next to the captain's suite. Like so. Okay. Then the other one goes right underneath the cargo hull in that little shelf area, little overhang, like so, okay. And same thing for the other side. There you go. So it's basically like a giant four-legged table <laughs> that stands on the ground. Okay, now let's go on and move to this big pile of stuff. Okay, so for the uh, main structural bits here in the big pile of stuff, we kind of have two main sections here. Um, we have the central hallway section. Uh, these cosmetics kind of get placed surrounding that central hallway area, and then everything surrounding it, I call it the box or the square, uh, the main square, it surrounds the top deck like this. So we'll start with that, that central square first. And I'll try to keep this as organized as possible so you don't have to be flip-flopping so much between different categories in your building menu. So start with your cargo, your cargo tab. We're going to be using four of these 40T hauler cargo holds. And they're going to be getting placed um, on top of the top decks. So take one, and we're going to place the first one here in the middle of the uh, mess hall. Second one goes on top of the cargo hull, like this, okay, and then replicate that to the other side. 
and it should look like that. Okay. Next, let's um, get all these Hope Tech pipes squared away. So we got two Hope Tech pipes A, mid, that go between the two cargo holds. Replicate to the other side. Next, we're going to be using four Hope Tech pipes four. Two in the front here that cap off the cargo holds, and then two in the back that cap off the rear section of the cargo holds, like that. Okay. Tab on over to your uh, HABs section. We're going to be using four of our Nova Cross passages. So two of them connect the cargo holds with each one by one stack like this, and then replicate that to the other side. Okay, and that completes our central square. I'm going to go ahead and move the main build a little bit closer so I don't have to be flipping the camera around so much. Okay, so let's move on to um, this uh, central area. So starting right here above the landing bay, find yourself a Hope Tech thruster. Then on top of it, find yourself tile forward sensors. Then on top of that, find yourself more Hope Tech Pipes 4. Okay, we place another Hope Tech Pipes 4 on top of the reactor, like so. And then another one on top of the grab drive. And then the final one right here on the back section of the one by one stack. Okay. Let's get these random bits out the way. So starting at the front, we have, um, <laughs> it's the last Hope Tech Pipes 4. <laughs> There's a lot of them on this build, aren't there? That goes on front of the armory, like so. Gives us a little bit of asymmetry when you're looking at it from head on. I kind of like having that little piece sticking out there from the front. Um, next, we have this little antenna mast looking thing, and we achieve that by using uh, stacking two Hope Tech riser Bs on top of each other and the Hope Tech marker A on top of those. And that gets placed on top of the mess hall like so. That offsets this asymmetry just a little bit. Gives you a nice little line of things to look at when you're coming at the ship head on like this okay so let's go ahead and focus on these two areas uh, on the first floor next to the grav drive and the reactor we're going to be using four of these hope tech pipes mid to go here like so and then replicate that to the other side Okay, and that completes our little pipe spine work for the bottom floor here. Uh, focus on this point right here on the Nova Galactic Cargo Hall 2x2. On the back corner, we're going to place this Hope Tech Cap A mid. And that I placed that there because that might kind of resemble um, sliding doors as if it's a uh, rooftop um, cargo bay door. Okay, last, tap over to your fuel tank section. Find yourself these drum tanks, the Titan 350 Helium 3 tanks, and we're going to be placing one on each side of this one by one here, second from the top in the rear stack. Like that. And congratulations, you've got the bulk of the structural and cosmetic items done. So let's go ahead and uh, take care of this beast over here, all of these portholes. Okay, so originally I was going to um, just click and drag all these windows so you can build along with me, but this is actually my third or fourth take of this. That was just way too painful. So instead, I'm just, I have deleted them since, and we're just going to focus on each point because that's going to be way easier on all of us. We're going to be placing all the fore and aft portholes first, uh, and then we'll work our way from front to back. So. Pull up your structural tab and uh, go find your uh, front-facing um, portholes. So let's begin on this side. We're going to focus on this point here on the Nova Galactic Living Quarters. Go down to your first floor on the front of the workshop. 
and that gets mirrored to the other side. So one here on the Ala one berth, one here in the middle of the mess hall. And let me just recalibrate my perspective. Cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and swing around to the back side. We're only placing two portholes on this side, um, one in the middle of each wing underneath these Hope Tech pipes. So starting on, on the living quarter, underneath the pipes like that, and replicated to the other side on the um, mess hall. And I like having these windows here in the middle, uh, especially in the mess hall, because the uh, main eating tables are right in the center. So, like, if you sit down uh, at the table, you get nice a nice view fore and aft inside the mess hall, right where everybody sits down for their meals. Okay, so let's move on to the uh, to this to this edge here, this face. Um, we're going to be placing a porthole right here on the battle station underneath the pipes. That gets replicated to the other side, so one right here under the pipes on the cargo bay. Sorry, the cargo hull. Then take a look at your um, rear stack of one by ones the ladder well. Uh, we get a porthole on the top. Like that. Okay. And that's it for that. Let's swing around to the back. We got a lot of portholes back here, so let's start at the top, work our way down. Um, right here on the top of the ladder well here, we have another porthole. Okay. And then another one on the bottom. When we assemble the rear spine, uh, it's going to go there. So when you're in the uh, main hallway, um, that window, you can kind of look up at it all, and it's, it's kind of neat. It makes it kind of look like you're in a uh, flying city of sorts. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, focus right here on this point on the cargo hull. We're going to place a window there. Focus on your all-in-one berth down here in the uh, research wing. Okay, another one gets replicated over here in the medical area. And we're not putting one here on the battle station, mostly because um, in this corner there's a bunch of computer consoles and, and placing a porthole there deletes it, so I would preserve that. Um, try not to let it get to your OCD too much. There's a very good reason why I wasn't going to put a porthole here. However, these 2x2 two two tabs tend to wreak havoc on ladder placement sometimes, and this ship plays nicely with ladder placements except for this corner right here. Um, the system always, always places a ladder on this cargo hull connecting it to the science lab below. I don't know why, but I found that placing a porthole here blocks the ladder. I'm not running any mods or anything. I know there's a mod that lets you block ladders by placing uh, windows on tops and stuff, but I'm not running anything like that. For whatever reason, this window blocks this ladder from being placed, so this window has to go here unless you want a random ladder connecting your cargo hull to your uh, science lab. Okay, so that's it for the for the fore and aft facing portholes, so let's just get these standard windows out of the way. Um, two portholes go up front on the uh, front ladder well, on the top one by one, like that. And I think of this as kind of a little lookout tower. We're going to place this guy. Um, this is a top-facing porthole. That's going underneath the reactor. Can't see a whole lot, but if you shine your flashlight up there when you're down here below, you can see the bottom of the reactor. I thought it might be kind of neat to look at it. Um, and the last window that we have here is a bottom-facing porthole, and that's going to go on the bottom of this one-by-one -one stack in the front here. So let's swing down that camera and stick it on and that's it we're done with the windows next we're going to move on to all of this stuff back here okay let's begin with assembling the um rear spine section so i'm going to take the main build and move it back down here okay this is pretty standard uh tab over to your um structural find two of these nova bracers we're going to be attaching both of them to these two points right here on the rear stack of 1x1s. 
okay? Tab on over to your um, fuel tanks. We're going to be using four of these 600T helium-3 tanks. So one, let's start on the bottom here. So one of them gets fixed to the bottom Nova Bracer. It doesn't go in the middle, it gets attached to the bottom one. So that's how we achieve this little oval shape of fuel tanks. So one goes here, like so, on that bottom bracer. Then let's go ahead and take the top fuel tank and stick that on the top bracer. Okay. And then the two get attached to the sides. Like that. See how it goes right in the middle of these two here. And uh, another one on the other side, like so. Okay. Go on back over to your structural tab. <laughs> two more Nova Bracers get placed in the center. Okay. Find two of your standard Nova Radiators, not the port variant. So we place two on one side, grab two more. They go on the other side, mounted to the top Nova Bracer. And then go find the smaller Nova Radiator, the port and starboard variant, and those are going to just get stuck onto the end. And that forms our little radiator wing. Okay. Underneath our radiators, go ahead and tab on over to your engines section. We're going to be using two of these little white dwarf little engine pods, and those are going to get attached to the bottom Nova Bracer underneath our radiator wing. So, another one on the other side. Okay, and while still in your um, engines tab, we're gonna be using the uh, Supernova 2200 as the main engine in the back. And that's it. That's it for your rear spine section. Let's get this little guy put on the little uh, shuttle hopper. Okay, so, um, tab over to your Habs. We'll get those uh, Habs squared away first. Um, find two of the Nova Cross passages. And we are going to fix them on this top one by one in the rear ladder wheel, right above our Helium-3 drum tank. Okay? So two cross passages that stick out like so. And then a... You can use whatever you like. Uh, I chose the control station because it felt natural and it also helps towards the crew count. So grab yourself a control station. Okay. Next, um, let's get the uh, engine placed and out the way. So go back to your engines, or you can just uh, copy this one. We're going to just be using a Supernova 2200 engine again. So grab one of those. And that gets stuck onto the back of the control station like this. And the rest of it's structural. So tab on over to your structural bits. We'll work away from the front and go backwards. So we're going to place one of these Nova cowlings in the front, like so. On the top here uh, goes the long Nova cowling, like so. And that leads nicely up into that supernova round engine. Okay. Focus on the sides of our control station. We're going to use a uh, Nova cowling, the uh, four variant, and then a Nova cowling the uh, mid variant and then another mid variant on the other side and then we're going to be using two Nova wing port and starboards um, fixed to the uh, attachment points on the sides of this uh, supernova engine like that okay and swing your camera around like so um, we're going to be putting two Hope Tech a risers um, that maybe kind of look like it's some sort of docking mechanism uh, and we're going to just stick that right underneath the shuttle here attaching it to the uh, command center the battle stations two by two okay while we're over here we might as well just throw these hard points down these were kind of an afterthought I admit I wasn't really planning on making this a battleship of any kind. Um, weapons I just threw on here because I had a few extra pieces in the build budget. And also something that I could sort of defend myself with in case I got intercepted by pirates. Um, so they're going to get placed here on the little shuttlecraft. So one 
I'm using this uh, PB300 Alpha Beam. Use whatever you want. Use more guns if you want. I don't care, um, but uh, this is how I've got mine configured. So two PB300s, like that. Okay, so let's move on to the uh, last extra on the other side here. Uh, we're gonna be assembling this piece here that kind of resembles a cargo crane. Um, so tab over to your Habs, grab two Nova Cross passages. We're gonna attach him mirrored to the other one that leads out to the shuttle. Okay. Uh, find yourself a, a Hope Tech companion way. Okay, sorry, yeah, I lied earlier. Uh, I guess it's not all Nova Galactic Habs. There's one Hope Tech. <laughs> I did that on purpose. It's um, for, for aesthetics reasons. So th that's it for the Habs here. The rest of it's going to be structural. So uh, tab over to your structural. Focus on the front. Grab yourself a Nova Weapon Mount. Like that. Okay. Focusing on this top part here, grab a Stroud Engine Bracer B. Then a Hope Tech A marker on top. All right. Focus on the area underneath. We're going to be using two Hope Tech Riser Bs stacked on top of each other. And that's going to connect the hab here down to the cargo hull, and it kind of gives it its little crane look. And then last, on the back face here, uh, we're going to use a Deimos belly aft. And that might look kind of like a counterweight of some kind. I'm not sure. I'm not a crane scientist or anything like that. It's just, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so while we're here, we might as well get these the rest of these uh, hard points attached. You can totally ignore this section if you decided not to use the Crimson Fleet modules. So our two conduction grids are going to go inside of the Nova Weapon Mount. It's kind of a pain to drag these in here, so I'm actually going to delete these and uh, do it this way. So we got two conduction grids on the inside of our Nova Weapon Mount, like so. And uh, these kind of have a double purpose if you decide to put these on here. These kind of make it look like there's little crane reels in here for a crane line. Um, but they also work in tandem with this item here, the comm spike. And uh, no spoilers, but it does allow you to return to a specific planet after the Crimson Fleet quest line. So you can go and uh, explore around there. Um, there's not nothing really going on there, but it is just a really cool, unique place to return to and just fly around for a few minutes. So yeah, take your comms bike, if you have one, and we're just going to toss it on top of the bridge. And guess what? Congratulations. You've got a fully assembled Nova Galactic Heavy Outpost platform. Okay, so now that we have it fully assembled, let's talk about the coloring. I'm not going to go into a play-by-play -play or a detailed part-by-part -part discussion about it. I'm going to talk about my overall coloring mindset. So, this ship has a lot of pieces, a lot of stuff to focus on. Um, unpainted, it's really hard for me personally to focus on one thing or another because there's so many little pieces. So, well, I thought to myself, well, this is called the Heavy Outpost Platform. I wanted to design something that looked a li little bit more square a little bit blockier, more industrial, kind of, you know, again, like the Hope Tech rigs, kind of like maybe an oil rig, something of that sort. Um, so I tried to draw attention to its its square shape and uh, some of the main pipes and spine work here. So what I did was I painted this middle square here, high visibility, white, and then I faded everything um, into the back, like these uh, habs here on the uh, second and first deck. Um, yeah, I actually believe I have two different shades. Yes, yeah, so the, the second deck is a lighter shade of gray, so it blends into the background, and then the first floors are an even darker shade of gray, so they fade even more into the back. So I thought it was pretty effective. Um, you have these this three-tone neutral color with um, the central square, which is what I wanted myself and hopefully everyone else to focus on the most, painted high visibility. So... That way your eyes have kind of a, you know, hierarchy of things to look at <laughs> and focus on, if that makes any sense. 
as far as these towers go. I've been building Nova Galactic style ships for a long time now, and I've rolled with this shade of blue that I like to call Nova Galactic Blue. Uh, you see it on some of the uh, ships as part of the uh, main storyline. Um, I tried to replicate it over to this one. I did kind of jack up the, the shade a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Nova Galactic Blue is, a, in my opinion, should be a little bit lighter than this. This is more of a teal, um, but I kind of ran with it. Um, just to sort of break up the monotony a little bit of uh, all of these neutral colors. Anyways, so that's my mindset for the coloring of this ship. Color it however you like if you decide to build it with me. Um, you know, the, the most important thing I feel like is, is this high visibility for the things that you want to focus on and then fade the other things into the back with a darker color. Now that we got her fully assembled, fully painted, Let's go ahead and take a tour of the interior. Alright, so here we are at my outpost. There's the hopper in front of me. So let's head on inside through the landing bay. A little glitchy. <laughs> so I'm not going to go too crazy in depth, uh, but I'll try to keep this as brief as I can while being as detailed as I can. So here we are in the uh, front ladder well. Okay, we're on the first deck. Um, over here is the uh, captain suite. There's a Nova Galactic A berth. And uh, the porthole that looks out front. And the captain's quarters itself. It's one of my favorite habs right here. Across the way, uh, we're going back inside of the uh, four section ladder well. Uh, let's go to the other side on deck one. This is the armory and workshop setup, conveniently placed near the landing bay. All right. That does it for deck one in the uh, forward section, so let's uh, head upstairs to the uh, second deck. Starting on this side again. This is uh, the 2x3, two 3x2, three, three can't remember, mess hall. Really, really like this mess hall one. Um, this is what I was talking about here. Look at the um, seating areas right in the center. You stick two portholes, front and rear, and you get a really nice center line view while you're sitting down and having your meal. Over in here is the uh, galley area, or the where they prepare the food. It's a great little spot. I like it in here. Nice and open. There's our cooking station. You know, if you're uh, running short on uh, UC battle meals, you've been out here for several weeks, uh, you go out and hunt for some of those Xeno boars. Pop one of those boar roasts in the oven and uh, make your crew happy with some delicious Xeno meat. Hopefully tested first down in the research lab for diseases. <laughs> okay, we're exiting the mess hall and uh, we're back in the uh, front ladder well. Let's head up here. This is the third floor. There's nothing here. These cross passages are the ones that connect the uh, cargo containers outside to the ladder wells. So those don't lead anywhere. And here up on the fourth floor, um, this is our little observation deck. We can look out to port and starboard either side of the ship at our landing area. Nice views. So let's go on and uh, head back down to the first deck. That concludes the fore section. So let's move on down the center line. Okay, so we're here on the first deck. This is the center spine, center central hallway that goes underneath the reactor and the grab drive. Uh, I'd like to note, originally I had um, Hope Tech cross braces. I really like those because they felt real spaceshipy, but unfortunately because they were so tight and cramped, um, and uh, me running 
eight to nine crewmates down here, they would always have parties down there and it would make traversal between fore and aft sections of the ship impossible. So I ended up having to delete it and I opted to put this one down here instead. I kind of think of this as maybe the uh, main engineering section. It's right underneath the two main modules, so it just kind of made sense. So here we are in the aft section ladder well. Did you want to discuss something? On deck one still. Let's uh, head over here into the research rink wing. This is another Nova Galactic A berth. Uh, kind of like the meeting room for all the researchers, I suppose. And then over here is the main lab. Just your standard Nova Galactic research lab. You get your um, pharmaceuticals and uh, research stations in here in case you're still using those. Right, let's move to the other side. Okay, back in the uh, aft section ladder well on deck one. Uh, moving across the hall here to the other side. This is the sick bay area. We have a double infirmary setup. I felt it was, it made sense. There being so many people on my ship, normally two sick beds wasn't quite enough. Um, wanted to have four. So that's the sick bay. And uh, let me not forget to give the view out the back window. Just looking up at the rear spine. The trademark Nova Galactic <laughs> aesthetic that I like to put on all my NG style builds. Heading back into the hallway, back in the uh, aft section ladder well. Let's uh, go on up to deck two. So here's our cross section, our cross passage that leads out into the cargo hall. I like this one a lot. It's, it's nice organized mess in here. Here's our windows looking towards the front of the ship. You get nice scale, nice perspective down here, being kind of in the middle. And then over here, um, this is where the ladder gets placed, but I blocked it with the uh, porthole. <laughs> Okay, moving back out to the uh, aft ladder well. On deck two still. Moving to the other side of the ship. This is the command center. Another window out the front. See your sense of scale. This is what I like to think of as um, kind of the main control center for the entire operation. We've got our map table here. Um, we This is the uh, kind of the little circle of consoles that I mentioned that if I put a window there it would delete this so I kind of think of this as the main control area for the entire heavy outpost platform so I like it a lot couldn't delete it and over here we just have our different room I call this the IT room <laughs> it looks like uh, we got server racks or maybe avionics or something not sure but <laughs> call this the IT room Heading back out into the uh, aft section ladder well, let's uh, jump on up to um, deck three. As you can see, nothing noteworthy. These are where the cross passages attach the um, cargo containers uh, on the exterior. So nothing going on here. So let's go on up to deck four. Again, nothing going on here. Um, we have all those cosmetics on the outside, the Hope Tech pipes fore and aft, and then uh, those uh, Titan 350 um, fuel tanks on either side. So nothing in here. So up here on deck five, we got really good view. There's the central square. And my graphics glitching out. View of the uh, outside. So let's uh, go to this side of the ship. We are now in the uh, Nova Cross Passage. And inside, we are inside the uh, Hope Tech cargo crane. There's nothing going on in here, uh, but I do like to think of this room as the control station for the crane. <laughs> Obviously, we don't have real cranes, so, you know, just 
work with me on that one. <laughs> if I was running that uh, interior decoration mod that I've heard about, uh, maybe I would put a control console here of some kind. Maybe stick a monitor on the wall here, but uh, I run 100% vanilla by choice. So this room, unfortunately, is empty. So let's move to the other side. Going back into that ladder well aft, uh, still on deck five. Now moving through the Nova Passage. Now we are inside the shuttle. This is a uh, Nova Galactic control station. I think of this room to be where they control the shuttle if they have to go hop somewhere else in the system. Okay, now we're back in the uh, aft section's ladder well. So let's head up to the final deck, deck six, where the navigation bridge is. I like to think of this as just simply a wheelhouse. Um, you can command the ship from up here, but um, it's better off if you command it from down there in the uh, control center. Um, all roleplay stuff in my own head, of course. So, um, obviously this is where you pilot the ship, and it offers some of the best views in-house. There's our cargo crane. Sun setting. Let, uh, catch some last few glimpses of the uh, sunlight. There's the landing area, my outpost. And there's the shuttle. So that concludes the interior tour. It was a quick one. I didn't want to make the run time to be an hour, um, but um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, we've assembled the ship, we've colored it, we've inspected the interior. So I think she's space-worthy. So I guess I'll see you in space. So that concludes this build video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was easy enough for you to follow. And most importantly, enjoy your new Nova Galactic Heavy Outpost platform. And I will see you in the next one.